The Balignese, or the Balignese Bitchin, is a breed of toy dog. Calm, obedient, attached to the owner and his environment, the Balignese is shy and even timid. It is necessary to accustom to walks in crowded places from puppyhood. In the circle of acquaintances, they are happy, but they yearn alone, disturbing their neighbors with howls. Easily get along with non-aggressive pets, small children are a little scared. Extremely affectionate with their owners, the Balignese is at the same time very distrustful of strangers. Dogs have a stylish gait and great charm. It is believed that Balignese was bred in Italy by crossing Maltese lapdogs with pygmy poodles, from which he inherited a curly coat and thick undercoat. In the 16th century, dogs of this breed came to France, where they became favorites of the French royal court. In the 18th century, the French ambassador, having arrived in Russia, presented several dogs of this breed to Empress Catherine II. The name French lapdog leads to confusion between the Balignese and the Bichon fries. The history of the breed. They belong to the Bichon family group, which includes the Bichon fries, Balignese, Maltese, Lochen, Havanese, and Cotun de Tulier. The precise ancestry of the Balignese is unknown. Its closest relative within the Bichon group is the Maltese, but it is unclear as to whether the Maltese is its direct ancestor or descendant. The Balignese are named after Bologna, a city in northern Italy, thought to be the place of the breed's establishment. The existence of the Balignese has been recorded since the year 1200. Balignese dogs may be seen in tapestry work produced by Flemish craftsmen dating as far back as the 17th century. The Venetian painter Titian painted the Duke Federico Gonzaga with his Balignese. The breed is also seen in paintings by Goya, Goss, and Watteau. Other notable owners of the breed include Catherine the Great of Russia, 1729-1796, Madame de Pompadour, 1721-1764, and Empress Maria Theresa of Austria. The breed was brought into England in 1990 by Liz Stannard and is first shown during that year in the breed registry. In 2001 the breed was able to be shown at all shows with their own classes. They were at Crufts, an annual international dog show, for the first time in 2002. Appearance Balignese, as a rule, of a uniform white color or white with fawn on the ears, is a small, square format, cheerful, very playful dog with a proudly set head, drooping ears covered with long flowing hair, and with dark, very expressive, attentive, rather large eyes. Growth from 20 to 30 centimeters, weight 2.5 to 4 kilograms. Black eyes, eyelids, lips and nose give her a very spectacular look. The transition from a prominent forehead to a short muzzle is clearly marked. The coat is thick, silky, and loose curls, with an undercoat. The tail is covered with long, flowing hair, set high, lying on the back. The dog's hair is trimmed with scissors, opening its eyes and giving a rounded shape to the head and torso. A properly combed and trimmed dog looks like a powder puff. The distinctive single coat falls in loose open ringlets flocks all over the body, with shorter hair on the face. The hair's texture is woolly, as opposed to silky, and is never trimmed or clipped, unless kept as pets. The hair sheds very little, but requires regular combing to prevent matting. The Balignese often appears on lists of dogs that allegedly do not shed. It is true that these dogs do not seasonally molt or lose large amounts of fur as many other breeds do. However, they do eventually lose and replace individual hairs, similar to human hair growth cycles. Each hair grows from a hair follicle, which is a three-phase cycle, as do most mammals. These cycles are anagen, growth of normal hair, catagen growth slows, and hair shaft thins, telogen, hair growth stops, follicle rests, and old hair fall off, is shed. At the end of the telogen phase, the follicle begins the cycle again. The length of time of the growing and shedding cycle varies by age and other factors. There is no such thing as a completely non-shedding breed. The coat requires daily brushing with monthly grooming recommended. Grooming must also include regular bathing, eye and ear hygiene and teeth cleaning. Distinctive character traits. Characteristic traits of the Balignese include playful, easygoing, earnest, willing, intelligent and loyal. They are not hyperactive and are normally more reserved than the bitch and fries. The Balignese is very responsive to obedience training. They are highly intelligent, quick to learn, and easy to train, but can be very stubborn when they don't get their way. A Balignese will quickly train to potty pads and a bell ringing notification system for taking potty breaks outside. The Balignese genuinely enjoys the companionship of people and forms a close relationship with his owner. They are true companions and thrive on their owner's attention. They have been known to follow their owners wherever they go. They are friendly with strangers but need to get accustomed to people at a young age. They can be reserved with strangers at first, but the response of the owners to the new person greatly influences their behavior towards the individual. Because of this, they are generally friendly towards strangers after the initial meeting. Balignese are true watchdogs, but are not incessant barkers. 
they will notice anything unusual and dependably notify their owners. Bolognese get along well with other dogs, but are happy to be the only dog in the family. They are non-aggressive by nature. They do not do well when left alone for long periods of time and may develop separation anxiety. Ideal owners of Bolognese include families with children, retirees, and city dwellers. They are good with children as long as the latter are old enough and mature enough to handle these dogs gently, carefully, and safely. They are not a good choice for younger children who could easily injure small dogs. Health. The average lifespan of the Bolognese is 14 years. They can live up to 10 years with relatively few genetic health issues. They are known to still act puppy-like at 10 years of age and are able to maintain aspects of youthfulness throughout their lives. They are typically active well into their senior years. Bolognese are typically a healthy breed and are not prone to any major problems. While Bolognese are perfectly happy to lounge around the house, they should also have a daily walk. A suitable walk would be around 20-25 minute a couple of times a day or substitute 10 minute walks a few times a day. Bolognese are easy to train, but soon become bored by numerous repetitive drills. They thrive on variety, so it is best to change or expand activities to keep them happily engaged and thinking. They respond well to positive reinforcement, gentle training methods and consistency. They do not respond well to shouting or harshness. Price and how to buy. Depending on the purpose of the purchase, the cost of the puppy will differ. Offspring without the possibility of exhibition and further breeding costs from 1700 US dollars. If there are plans for future puppies as parents, then the price increases by two to three times. Show class puppies are even more expensive, and the price depends on the pedigree and what prizes were received by the parents of the puppies at various exhibitions. If you are looking for a show class puppy, then you need to contact the breeders registered in the Unified International Register of Breeders, where there is a guarantee of pure blood. In this case, a contract of sale must be signed, where all the circumstances are prescribed in order to avoid misunderstandings. Buying a puppy in unreliable places is a huge risk of getting a dog similar to Bolognese, but not being it. While the dog is small, it is difficult to understand how the puppy meets the requirements.